Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Archer's Garage and Whatnot. Today, we are going to talk about parts people and parts departments. Um, not really going to work on much today. Uh, probably not going to show it anyway, but I am working on something and I wanted to discuss parts departments and parts people from the past and the ones today. And uh, wanna, sounds like a little bit of a rant, but not really. So I wanted to give you an insight of what I see as a as a professional technician of what I see in the world today. Um, growing up, uh, we had a Napa back home and there was a guy named Dave there. He was a good old dude. You could take him something from, from anything, say a Toyota and you're putting it on a Ford or whatever and he'd get out his books and he'd be flipping pages and and he he'd make it work, man. He's looking. He's well. This is this thread, and this is that thread, and this is. He would make it work. That was a good parts guy. Most, I, well, I shouldn't say most. A lot of parts people today, they don't have that knowledge. They don't have that background. Um, if they can't look it up in their computer, then they don't. They can't get it to you. So let's say you're putting a V8 in something that a V8 never came in. So you're putting. A Ford 302 in your Toyota pickup truck. Nope. You better know where that 302 came from so you can tell them, hey, this is from a 92 Mustang and I need this head gasket or something. Or they won't be able to figure it out. You can't go in there and say, yeah, I need a 302 head gasket. No, they can't do it. Today, let me show you what I've got working on here. And uh, that way, put it in, in uh, context here. So I'm working on my 05 F-150 and my passenger side brake line blew out um, this is a lift kit on here and it's got aftermarket brake line here you because know, they have to be extended because of the lift kit well right here it blew out because quality you know it sucks so anyway so I blew the brake line out um, to find this is very very difficult you could uh you could look it up online and, and everybody in line wants to sell you a lift kit, right? Not just a brake line. Um, but if you find this brake line, you know, you're talking a hundred dollars for brake line. So anyhow. So anyhow, so I went down to my local O'Reilly's here and uh, keep in mind, I am not sponsored by anybody. This is just me. Went down there just on a whim. Said, let me go see. Maybe, maybe, maybe. They've got something that can work. So I went down there. And uh, they didn't have the exact thing, of course, because this is a lifted truck, right? Uh, they had the, the factory one, but that's a little bit too short. Um, I've got one of those, and it didn't work. So that's why I'm in the pickle I'm in right now. Um, so... Luckily for me, the guy working the counter, he knows his business. Um, coincidentally, he's the manager of the store. There's a reason he's the manager of the store. He is one of those good parts guys. Um, he uh, he looks at it, he says, you got a couple minutes? I said, yeah, sure. What? He said, I'll be right back. So 10, maybe 15 minutes goes by, and uh, he came back with... A bag full of stuff and uh, I think it's gonna work um, he did the old man Dave trick he went back there did his measurements he did stuff now nowadays they don't have all their books and all this stuff, so they can't be flipping pages and looking at you know um, thread count and all that but he did his due diligence he did his measuring and uh, he's here take this if it doesn't work bring it back whatever um, what more can you ask for I mean the guy cared about his business. So, again, I am not sponsored. I go in there, spend my hard-earned money, just like you would. And uh, I just want to come on here and uh, give a 100% rave. I know it sounded like a rant on parts people. I don't mean to rant on anybody. But this is a good store. This is, if, I don't know why they would be, but if anybody from... O'Reilly's 
is watching this channel, this little bitty channel. Um, if you're watching it, I, I hope you can do something for the little Groveland O'Reilly store on State Road 50. They are a good, good store. They, uh, especially the manager there, um, he's newer to the store. He took over a month ago, maybe two months ago. And, um, man, he's, he's doing a good job. I'll tell you that. He's very personable. He knows his business. And uh, now I'm going to go put his line on, see if it will work. And uh, if it doesn't, he said I can bring it back, which is what more can you ask for, right? So uh, let's see if we can get this truck going. And there we are, guys. The proof is in the pudding. Let's see if I can get a good view. There it is. All bolted up. Ready to go. Perfect. So again, this was not a rant video on Perch People. This is a rave on the manager at uh, O'Reilly's in Groveland on State Road 50. Thank you so much. And O'Reilly's, if somebody up high is looking at this, I hope you give this guy a huge pat on the back. He saved my day. He, uh, he got this truck back on the road. And now I've got my son out here. We're going to bleed the brakes on this thing. And uh, we're going to go have some fun. So thank you guys for watching this video. If you like it, give it a, give it a thumbs up. Go to O'Reilly's, support a business like this, um, find you a good parts guy, and uh, give give this video a good like or thumbs up, uh, subscribe to the channel, it helps with the algorithm, gets us out there, and uh, I hope you have a blessed day. See you, see you next time, everybody.